my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi De Salovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome to my humble abode. Juvia's Place, you know I have a discount code for you guys. They are my go-to. As a matter of fact, I am wearing, yep, I'm wearing bronze sugar. I live and love it. This is a wig, my darlings, that I just kind of cut the bangs and I just flipped it to this side. I just thought it's nice, it's pleasant, you know, it kind of works. And this blouse is by H&M in collaboration with Jampatistia Valley. Talking about collaboration, H&M is coming out in May and they are collaborating with Mugler. I cannot wait. If any of you <laughs> work for H&M, contact me. I have to contact H&M because I know that they're going to have like a private uh, viewing. They do that with uh, influencers like the day before. I have to find, I have to find somebody up in there. So Fumi Nation, if you are working at H&M, let a sister know. Today's episode, I'll just put it out there. Let go and let God. I get a lot of you talking about how it's very difficult for you to let go from things, from people that have hurt you, people that have betrayed you. You're struggling trying to be this person and you're forcing yourself, which is a square peg into a round hole. When you find yourself in circumstances across the board where you are disappointed about certain things that you thought you would get, you would achieve the position, you know, or you would get the car, or you would get that, that executive position at the job, or you would have this relationship with this guy. Now he has canceled the engagement. You have to get yourself out of the way of your path. Sometimes, when there is nothing that you can do about the situation, you have to let it go. You have to drop it. And it's very difficult, it's very painful, and you're resisting. But we have to have a bigger faith that there's something bigger, there's something better for you. And I can only speak from my humble experience. And Christina, my good friend, who has been with me now for quite a while, has seen it. There have been circumstances where it was a big money venture and it didn't go right. And I sat there and I thought to myself, I could pursue this in court financially to get my money back. But that would mean that I am putting more money to pay the lawyers, da da da, to chase the money that I don't know guaranteed I will get. I'm gonna waste my time instead of refocusing on something else. I'm going to be embittered and engrossed and be in this toxic relationship that has betrayed me. It's hard, it's hurtful, it's painful. People take advantage. But you see, I'm God's own child. I really, really, really believe that I'm God's own child. And I believe sometimes it's a lesson. You missed something for me. Because had you seen it, then you would never have gone into business with them. And or, which was fact, I was beginning to feel funny. I think after two meetings and I brushed it aside. I said, no, for me, don't worry about it. Just keep on going. I didn't go with my gut instinct. So when we got to this financial crunch, I'm happy to say that it was not disastrous. I was able to pump the brakes before it was completely out of control. It was still a, certain, it was still a substantial amount of money. But I said, let me let it go. Christina said, oh my God, for me. Let me fight. Let me this. Let me that. I said, Christina, no. Let it go. You see, this God that we pray to, it's okay. It's only money. Something else will come along, bigger, better. 
in a matter of three months. It did. Bigger, better than I could ever have imagined. Because I have learned over time, you got to let go and you let the universe take care of it. It's so difficult, it's so difficult, even for me. It's only that over time I have seen that it works for me. And I wanted to share that with you. Because we come up here and we talk and we laugh and we do all kinds of fun stuff, you know. And we talk about what's in social media, pop culture, and I give my advice on relationships and stuff like that. But I have learned that if you have that kind of mindset, it is a skill, it is a power that you will use for the rest of your life. And you will always come up trumps. It is one of the most fabulous power tools I use. I have the gift of goodbye. It's a gift because I know how hard it is to say goodbye to a brand, to a business, to a man. I know how hard it is. You don't want to let it go. You've invested too much. So you think. The investment that you've put in it is the lesson. It's what the lesson that you needed to learn to take that onto the next part of your journey. But you will never get to the next part of your journey if you don't let go of what this situation is that no longer serves you. You're dating this guy. Somebody told me, dating for eight years. And he said this, that, and the other. He's not interested, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I've, I have brought up, that is she, about marriage and he's very aloof. Mm, not too sure. And I said it to a couple of you girls here and I've said it on the show. That man is occupying your future husband's seat. Till you let go of him, till you get rid of him, he will continue to derail your life when it comes to your husband, your marriage, your children. You are delaying it. You are getting older and exhausted on this man that does not appreciate you. You are trying to make it right. You are going against the force of nature because we have the force, we have all of this energy. We really do. If you think it, if you propel it, and you work hard towards it, you will find that as you're on this journey, working hard, dedicated, God now brings his 12 disciples, your 12 disciples, that will guide you and push you and carry you and hold you and take care of everything around you for you to get to that goal. God does it for all of us. But you have to show him that you are dedicated, that you are serious. Then he will do the rest. It's like coming to the cliff. You have to be prepared to jump and know that you're going to get bruises as you hit the rocks at the bottom. You have to be prepared to mentally have it, to let go with only faith. And he, halfway down the drop, will bring out the parachute. Because you already mentally did the work. That is what I'm trying to tell you. I did that for my life. I removed everything that did not serve me. I removed my mental handcuffs from my wrists, but more importantly, from my mind. I'm not too old. I'm not too black. I can do it, whether you're a female or not. You have to believe in you. You have to believe that if this is not working for you, it's a direct message to tell you, sis, let go. I got something else for you. I got all of these. Let go. 
I got all of this for you. You know why? Because you're a good person. You're a loving person. You're honest. You're loyal. You're hardworking. Your standard and value should never be negotiated. The second you understand that, you can let go. Because you know that you are so fabulous, that you are so worthy, that you'll be able to rebuild again. So whatever that loss is, it's not a loss. You have learned a lesson. It's not a loss. You thought it was a loss. It was a lesson. You know when you date a guy and then you break up and somehow, crazy as it is, his twin comes up around with the same kind of attitude. When I say twin, I mean another guy comes up with similar behavior traits. You peep it right away because you've learned the lesson. So you know you got to go. And then after that, you do some work on yourself. Why am I attracting the same guy? It is all about really learning and honing in to yourself and loving yourself, accepting who you are. My dark knuckles. <laughs> I don't know why, but yes, but loving myself because in the grand scheme of things, Fumi, you are very fabulous. I'll say so myself. Yes, I am. And so are you. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. We are all God's children. And if we are God's children, we are loved and we come from love. We have to find who we are. Find who you are. And take that and go ahead and shine. And that was how I really found my way. I let go of everything that no longer served me and I was really honest and that was a little bit of tears and crying. I let go of what I didn't want to let go of but I knew that it was time. I knew deep down inside that it wasn't working as much as I wanted it to work with the job, with the career, with the relationship, with the house. I remember so badly, I wanted to uh, move, in, in, move into this building. Oh my God, it was fabulous. I wanted, I died, you know, I so, so wanted to move in. They wanted a huge deposit and I didn't have it. The building burnt down to the ground six months after the fact. I packed the car and sat down like this and said, no, God, you're something else. Let go and let God. Believe that something better is coming. Even though it's the hardest time, saddest time of your life. Sometimes. Let go. Let it go. Because here's the thing, before I say goodbye, 90% of the time, let me just make sure that I have it. Yeah. Ah, perfect. 90% of the time, you're holding on to a cord. Can you see the cord? That has been switched off from the wall. It wasn't connected. You were not getting anything from it. It was disconnected. You were just holding on to the cord. You know how much weight that is? You are carrying it and it served nothing from you. It actually took from you. Okay? Let go and let God. And for those of you that don't believe, you know, that's okay. In the higher power, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that the universe loves us. The universe is surrounded by us. And every time you give love, and I try to do that all the time, I try not to judge and I really love upon the milkman, you know, the guys that come and take the trash and stuff like that. Just a kind word, just to be a loving word. And I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten that back in truths. 
when I needed it to the very most. All of my love, my darlings. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and hit the notification button. And I will see you what? I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love. Mwah. Thank you.